Let's go ahead and get this. Why am I singing? Why do I sing in my videos anyway? Miriam Webster's vocabulary build up. Let's get this started with. First of all, here's our unit six. Equal words. Let's get this started with. Firstly, let's start off with equal. Equals equal. Ah, let's get this started with. Firstly, we have equable. Of course, the equilibrium and equinox. Now, what does equal mean? It comes from the Latin word equus, which means equal. Yippee ki yay! Next up we have quiz. Quiz basically means seek or obtain. And this is basically where we get like the words like inquisition and perquisite, acquisitive, and requisition. Next up we have ple, or also known as plan, which basically means to fill. Here we have the words plenary, complement, deplete, and replete, and so forth. Next up we have meter, me meter, which is like measure. We also have the here we have metric, meter, odometer, tachometer. Our fifth one is odd, which actually comes from the word audience, which apparently is a Latin word. Apparently, that's actually pretty up that's actually pretty good. It basically means hearing. Oh, wow. Wow. So we have the word auditor, auditory, aud audition, and inaudible. Our sixth one is son, which basically means sound. Alright. Here we have the word sonic, dissonant, resonance, and ultrasonic. Wow. All right, our seventh one is er. Er basically means to wander. And when you're wandering, that's all awesome and great. So here you have errant, aberrant, erratic, and erroneous. And that's awesome. All right, our eighth one is said. Said er, which basically means yield. Now here we have the words seed, concede, accede, and precedent. That's actually pretty nice and cool if you ask me. And that's actually not all too. So why do we actually need to use these words? I literally think that you should use these words when you go ahead to college or whatever. That's at least what most people say. And they say, you're going to use these words when you're like a girl. Uh, actually, that's probably not the case. Usually, if you're like the typical person, you might never actually use most of these words. Sure, you might use the words inquisition, eco, audience, auditor, those words. But like some of the more fancy words like this or like this or plummy or whatever words you can literally sync up like uh dragon's teeth uh, no actually like other words like let me think let me think let me think perquisite you might actually use rarely if you use it at all in fact i actually rarely use these words too except for like the most common ones but hey this is what this is what Miriam Webster wants to teach you so Go ahead and build your vocabulary in whatever you way. All right, next up we have word from myth and history. So we have Algian stable, uh, Croesus, and Dragon Sea. We also have Hades, the Garfic, Midas Touch, Pyrophic Victory, and Siege. Now, what do these all mean? Well, these are myths. I know, like, I bear, I can, no, I can guess the meanings of some of them. Well, I'll probably still use the dictionary, so here we go. All right, firstly, we're going to start off with Augie Unstable. Now, the Augie Unstable basically is like a condition or place that is marked by a great accumulation of a filth or literally some corruption. Uh, next, we have Croatius, which just basically means a very rich person. Our third word is Dragon Sea, which basically means like the seat of conflict. Uh, then we have Hades, which is like the underground home of the dead in Greek mythology. We also have lethargic, which basically it means like you're lazily sluggish, or you're also indifferent or apathetic, those kinds of things. Uh, then we have Midas Touch, which is like the, actually the talent of making money really, really, really quick. And in the money in every venture, you're like, oh, I see a business opportunity, grab money. I see a great business opportunity, grab money. Five years later, I am a trillionaire, like James Halliday. Why do I talk like that anyway? Uh, next we have pyrific, which basically means a victory won at excessive cost. Uh, then we have to talk about Sejian, which basically like an extremely dark and gloomy and forbidding, forbidding place, which is somewhere you really don't want to go. But for some reason, people just go ahead, decide to go ahead there anyway, because they're like, I have college. Yes, don't, 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 don't go to Sejian places. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys soon. And until next time, Shana, peace. I will send you to Jesus if you do that. No, 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 no. I will send you to Jesus if you don't subscribe, if you don't like, if you don't share this video, and if you don't comment here. And I will send you to Jesus. And if I cannot send your body to Jesus, I will send your soul to Jesus. Bye-bye.